it can't be the the full masculine side, but it can't always be the full feminine side, right? There has to be a way to ebb and flow in between the two. And I, I see a lot with both male and female is there's a total disconnect in understanding how the other person works. We expect other people to just understand and see it from our perspective versus coming in with an open-ended curiosity about the other person and taking the ego out and being able to have a conversation where differences are going to arise, but that doesn't necessarily mean that one person is right and one person is wrong. So I see this a lot. Um, communication is a huge one, but you're right in, in definitely in regards to the things that we go through in our life. It is, it's across the board. You know, there are studies that have been done. I know that over 60% of Americans have been through some form of trauma in their life. And you're right. We're not handed a manual or any way to deal with those. Uh, and for a lot of us, especially what I've seen in the male society, they're not even taught to deal with the emotion, right? You just suck it up, deal with it, go like, go on about your way. Mm -hmm. Right. And so when I'm dealing with people, one, I try to let them know that it's not that you're necessarily broken. It just means that you were never given the skills to be able to see what was happening in the past, learn how to deal with it in the present, and then release it. That's the, something that I see, right? And so many people feel like the traumas that they went through or the things that they dealt with creates a broken person. And I thought that for the longest time as well, right? And for me, I feel like that plays into this, what I call the the invisible book of society, where we try to live by this unhuman standard of being perfect and like these things shouldn't happen to you and you shouldn't go through that. And the more that I can bring things up to people and I share my own story of abuse because I was a very ambitious, boisterous person. Um, and so I don't fit into a lot of statistics that people push people that have been into abuse through. And so sharing my story, you can use the things that you've been through to either weaken you or empower you. But that's a choice that you have to make. And for the longest time, I used the first one. I was broken. I was weak. There was something wrong with me. Nobody has ever done this. They haven't let their kids go through this, right? We, we play all these things in our head. But when you start to have conversations with people, and I see this a lot in my clients, is especially when you get into the business world, whether it's an entrepreneur or corporate, there are triggers that come up. There are things that hit us in a certain light and we immediately become defensive, right? Or we immediately shut down and don't want to talk about it. But a lot of us don't know where it's coming from and then how to manage it. So we find our own coping skills, right? Which is defensivism, ego, complete shutdown, isolation, um, or we become the bully so that we guard ourselves so that nobody can hurt us.